click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, now here we are going to talk about lipids. So what are lipids and what are the classification of lipids? This is what I am going to talk about in this topic. So now let's get started. So friends, now here we are going to talk about the lipids and this is nothing but a biomolecule, the important biomolecule. So for that, let us understand the definition of it first. That is, a diverse group of the naturally occurring biomolecules that have limited solubility in water and can be isolated from the organisms by extraction with non-polar solvent is called lipids. And in that case, lipids are basically classified into two types and based on that, let us understand that what are the classification of lipids and from which we could study the various other biomolecules also. So now let us understand this. So friends, talking about the classification of lipids, so lipids are classified into two types that is complex lipids and simple lipids. So what are complex lipids? So complex lipids are nothing but they are the esters of long chain fatty acids. For example, that is suppose if we talk about glycolipid, if we talk about phospholipid, or suppose if we talk about waxes. So this three are basically the examples of the complex lipids or they are basically the types of complex lipids. So talking about glycolipids, so in this case basically the lipid is combined with that of sugar molecules for example like glucose or galactose in such a way and in that case we see they form glycolipids so talking about phospholipids we understand that is the lipids are the esters of long chain fatty acids so in that case suppose if we talk about glycerol so glycerol consists of that is three moles of OH and that is how we see suppose if we have replaced all the OH and we have did the esterification so in that case we could get a fatty acid that is known as TAG that is known as triacyl glycerol which is also known as TAG but in that case suppose out of the three hydroxyl groups suppose if the two hydroxyl groups are esterified and talking about the last one so in that case the OH that has been left out suppose if that is been phosphorylated so in that case the product that is what we could get that product it would be called as phospholipid so if you talk about waxes so waxes are secreted by plants and animals also so this all belongs to the complex lipids and now let me talk about that is simple lipids so simple lipids don't have the ester molecule or they don't have the ester functional group just like that of the complex lipids that is what we have discussed about so in fact they don't consist of any ester group and that's the reason they don't get hydrolyzed very easily so talking about the complex lipids suppose if we talk about that is oils and fats so even the oils and fats that is it depends upon the saturated fatty acid and the unsaturated fatty acid so even the oils and fats that consist of that is ester group but in that case of simple lipids it doesn't consist of acid group so now let me give you certain examples suppose if we talk about that is steroids if you talk about terpenes so talking about steroids, steroids plays a very important role for example if you talk about that as uh, hormones like sex hormones for example suppose if you're talking about that is progesterone or suppose if we are talking about testosterone so that steroid consists of a common group and the common structure of those that is suppose if we talk about cholesterol suppose if we talk about that is progesterone or estrogen so therefore they consist of a common structure and the common structure is a phenanthrene that is what i could mention over here to which basically a five membered ring is attached so this kind of structure is known as cyclopenta per hydro phenanthrene structure so this is the common structure that is what we could get in cholesterol as well as in the steroid so here basically the talking about the steroids so steroids are also of different types so talking about sterols so sterols are also classified into further types that is zoosterol phytosterol so zoosterol is the one that is known as animal cholesterol and phytosterol is known as that is plant cholesterol and talking about that is ergosterol so ergosterol is basically present in fungus so therefore this all consists of a common group that is what you can see over here and terpenes is also a simple lipid so therefore this were all the classification of the lipids that is what i have discussed about and that's it so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood that is what are lipids and what are the function of it so thank you friends for watching this video i hope i'll see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe to our channel thank you so much